Hello, welcome to the Todd and Deborah Show. This is episode 22. And way back in episode 3, we did a geezer review of Google Photos. Please watch that if you haven't already, especially if you're downsizing or will be, because we talked a lot about this fantastic free service that Google gives you called Google Photos, and it's a cloud service. Yep. You can upload yep. photos, but... Lifesaver. Yep. Unlike a lot of the other cloud services that just charge you right off the bat, Google Photos will never charge you. You could store a billion photos up there and they won't charge you if you use the high quality setting, which is wonderful. We've never seen any problem with the high quality setting. If you use the original setting, there is a limit of 15 gigabytes free and then they charge after that. But watch episode three to get more details. And then you can be excited about what we're going to talk about today, which was announced yesterday, November 15th, 2016. Yep. By Google, and yeah. it's... Oh, I thought you were going to say, da -da 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 -da. drum roll, Google Photo Scan. Did I That's say it right? It. We've you been did. trying to make sure I get that right. Um, it's so cool, guys, because if you're like us and our generation and you have tons of hard copy photos yeah. on the walls and frames on the piano, just everywhere, or in boxes, Albums. maybe some people, maybe, yeah. Um, <laughs> we've been gradually scanning all those with, with what I now call an old-fashioned old scanner, scanner. The kind that, you know, the big one that sits there and you put your photos, you line them up just right, and it goes, Aah! makes that big noise while it scans them. They do come out looking very nice, and we'll compare that with what we're about to tell you in just a second with Google Photo Scan. But it's this is so cool that you can now scan okay. photos with your smartphone. Right, right. When you use the old-fashioned scanner, not only do you have to take it out of the but after you scan it, you've got to say, okay, save it to this file and then do this and crop it and do whatever. Um, you don't have to do that anymore. Nope. It's going to just go right up to Google Photos. It'll be in an album, I believe, called Scans or something. And then, well, anyway, if you watch episode three, we did how cool. Google Photos is how when you go to find all the photos of one of your kids face recognition it can search by that or just by say show me all the pictures I took of fruit you know and I'll show you all that. well it is a new app because you take and, a lot of pictures as a of fruit. result like when I tried to load it on my phone mine's an older phone and it mm -hmm. said it was incompatible his so, is a four-year-old Motorola just yeah, for uh, so you know Android. Now, it, it, it said it was incompatible, and I, like yeah. I said, I think it has to do with some kind of the um, me mechanisms of the newer phones and things. So Probably. The quality is not as good as the old-fashioned scanners, and in our tests, we tried. Yeah, it there was a difference. Not tremendous, but there was a difference. So if you have a picture that you want real high quality and you want to be sure that it's really tight, you're probably going to want to continue to use the old-fashioned scanner on it. But for your normal film and pictures, which is about 90% of what we've got, this allows you to be able to take them, scan it, and it goes automatically up to Google. The cloud, cloud, your Google, Google uh, Photos. photos. Yeah. Um, we're going to show you how to do it in just a couple minutes here. I'm going to be using a Nexus 5X. Does, is there an X after my Nexus 5? I'm not sure. uh, and also, I'm going to be using my Samsung Galaxy S6. Bear in mind that the photos you'll be seeing that I'm scanning with the phone, and I'm going to compare them to our old-fashioned scanner, uh, the one that makes that noise, uh, to show you the difference in quality. But um, these are photos from the 1970s. So probably because wow. photography advanced, we were alive back then, um, probably there is going to be a difference as far as how old the photos are that you're scanning, right? Maybe. I mean, you can only work with as much as you've got to work with, right? right? right. When you're a scanner or when you're a smartphone acting as if you're a scanner. How cool is this? All right, I'm calming down so we can show you how to use it. Once you've downloaded the app, you just click Start Scanning, and you say allow it to take these pictures. Yep. Now we're going to tap. We just tap the button. First of all, I want to make sure I've got it all in frame. Okay. Now it gives me four circles. I move over here to capture that circle. Once it turns blue, I go to the next. Once it turns blue, the next. Done and done. I bet I'll get faster at this. Nice work. It says your photo is ready. We're going to open it up here. Oh, there's the scan. Let's do another. This time I'm going to turn the phone this way because they recommended we do that. I see a shadow there, but here I press the button to scan and it's got the circle to put over. Does it matter which order in which order, Todd, I do these circles? No, well, they show you arrows. But once you start, it'll oh, show you arrows. And I was doing it the right way? Yep. All right. It says that one's done. And there it is. Let's look at it. Aww. You know, my phone, I don't have the tilty thing on it, the twirl thing or whatever you call it. But there you go. See it? This photo, by the way, guys, is from 1979. As you can see, you can adjust the corners. You can rotate it. Oh, I can rotate it here. Doesn't matter that I didn't have the turning thing on, right? Yay. <laughs> or you can delete it and start again if you want to. But how simple is that? 
Now we're going to scan more photos. I've got this one over here. Would you pass that one over, Todd? This one's kind of glossy, and you know, it's at a first, Polaroid. I know it's a Polaroid. Maybe that's part of the problem. I think I should turn it. Don't you think? It's hard yeah. to tell if it's a square or what. We've got a shadow when I do that, though. And you know, my tendency is to want to tilt the camera to not have that angle, but you're not supposed to tilt the camera from what I read. So I'm going to keep it right above, even though it gives us a shadow. Oh no, I have a better idea. Turn it this way, and now I'm not in the way to create the shadow, okay? Hey, I guess I was right that I get faster at doing this, huh? Look at that. So, how does this app work? Well, by capturing these four dots, what you're actually doing is taking four shots of overlapping sections of your print photo, and then Google PhotoScan just weaves those together, and it removes the glare and enhances the results. And you can scan a whole stack of photos real fast, too, with this little thing. You can save them to your phone, and or you can upload them to Google Photos. So what's not sweet about this little app, right? And it sure beats working with that big old desktop scanner. I'm gonna show you the quality between the ones I took with my desktop scanner and the ones I took with my Nexus 5X and the ones I took with my Samsung Galaxy S6. And you can check them out side by side and see what you think. Thanks for watching. See you next time.